Here in Great Britain is the University of London. A new beneficial experiment into plasma cluster ions was run by the company Retroscreen Virology Limited at this university. Directing the experiment was the International Authority in Virus Research, Dr. John Oxford. I'm John Oxford. I'm Professor of Virology at the Queen Mary School of Medicine, the University of London, and Scientific Director of Retroscreen Virology Limited. Well, now we are repeating the experiments with virus potential inactivation, and we're using a more powerful um, ionizer. This emits uh, 50,000 ions per centimeter cubed, and we're hoping to achieve even more inactivation of virus. The experiment is carried out using a one meter cubed box. First, virus solution is sprayed from the top surface of the box. Within the box, an ion generator is producing plasma cluster ions. The suspended viruses are gathered at fixed intervals into a solution by a trumpet-shaped collection device. On the right is a virus solution affected by the ions. On the left is a virus solution not affected by the ions. Each virus is introduced to MDCK cells and the response awaited. Here is the mechanism by which the plasma cluster ion degrades and removes the viruses. The ion generator produces positive and negative ions from air moisture through plasma electrical discharge. In the same way as ions existing in nature, plasma cluster ions are very stable when included in water molecules and high concentration is possible in our living spaces. When two ions stick to the surface of a virus, they transform into a highly oxidizing OH radical and draw out the hydrogen from the protein of the spike-shaped virus. OH radicals exert the strongest attractive force on hydrogen out of all the oxides. Protein from which hydrogen has been taken is degraded and the OH radical returns to water. This sequence is performed in an instant, completely removing the virus. Three days after introducing the virus into the cell, the reaction is analyzed under a microscope. The cells introduced to the virus not exposed to the ions gradually degrade. Whereas the cells introduced to the virus exposed to the ions exhibit almost no change and maintain a normal condition. This proves that the virus is removed by plasma cluster ions. This kind of experiment is repeated many times over in order to verify the virus removal efficiency. The result verified is that high concentration plasma cluster ions can remove 99% of the virus in a one meter cubed space. Now, with that degree of inactivation, I think one can begin to think clearly about how to apply this sort of technology in practice, in doctor surgeries, in waiting rooms, in, in people's homes, and, and that um, sort of application pleases me quite a lot. These ions inactivate or react with the surface uh, of the virus and cause change on the surface of viruses and thereby uh, help destroy the virus. That's quite a good uh, method of action. And so to, given all that, this sort of technology I think will give us some reassurance that we'd have, a, we'd have some, a piece of kit as it were that could be used not only against viruses we know about but viruses that could appear in the future. Progressing further, plasma cluster technology. Just one of many health and environmental technologies by Sharp.